Hi guys, today uh, we're going to talk about a tool that will help uh, you and us for uh, programming our LaTeX documents. Uh, the reason for exploring this tool uh, is mainly because when you have a lots of uh, images and uh, tables and other stuff which you want to include in a document, uh it is quite tedious to do it manually so i i wanted to find out some tool which uh, we can program to uh do it automatically uh, so even if we like update few images uh then it should uh, be in a i mean we should be able to compile it and make a new document in a couple of seconds only so the uh, to to show in more details what exactly i mean why we need this kind of tool is here i have a couple of images for different events uh you'll see uh that for different events i have different images and i want to like order these images um in a beamer slide here and uh, for for the discussion purpose with my group so uh, to do that here they are like you see there are many images like over uh, uh, a lot so uh, so to do that uh, I mean one way to go is you start your Microsoft PowerPoint and then start inserting uh, each one by one manually or you uh, do the Google sh uh, like uh, the Google slides and start inserting again manually uh, there should be a better way to like do it all automatically if we uh, uh, if we uh, don't want to do it manually right uh, there are some ways in fact uh, one easy way is just to uh, like uh, add all of them into one file uh, you name it in an ordered fashion and then combine merge all of the png images together and then put it in one file which is good, I mean, for some of the purposes, but that doesn't give you uh, enough uh, flexibility, right? Because sometimes we want to, like for this image, I want to add this image and add a few more description about this image, like what what is it talking about and other things. And for each image, you want to do that. And you have those information somewhere, like for, for my case, I have those information over here. For each image, I, I do have this information. So uh, I want to do some statistics over these files and i want to write those statistics into uh, uh corresponding to each images in that uh, beamer slides so how can we do that i mean i was trying to explore some ways where latex can be uh, uh programmed but uh, uh, and after doing some uh, research on the internet i came across this tool uh, this pilatex tool and uh, guys this is this is quite amazing uh, in many ways it's, uh, it's still uh, lacking a few features but uh, and uh, uh, but it does its job so if you go to this uh, uh, i will put the link uh, to this pilatex uh, github pages in in my description if you go here then you'll find a few couple of examples uh like uh, for the basic example how to write a latex document and then that will generate a text for file in your uh, current directory and and also it will generate a pdf file so uh and th so the latex uh, the code for generating all these is simple python script uh, uh so so we will see a couple of examples how we can include uh, the images i have uh, and make one beamer slides here uh, in the examples they have included they don't have any uh, example for the beamer slides it's mainly for the latex documentation and uh, i'm not quite sure yet why i would use it for uh, writing a latex document is because latex document when we write a paper or any any like thesis or anything for that i need much more flexibility so i, I probably don't want to program it or something but for uh, making a beamer slides, uh, I, I would like to program it in a, in a at least a couple of uh, cases. So okay, so uh, you can uh, come to this uh, uh, this website and explore uh, the documentation in 
in a much more elaborative way but here i will show you a quick example how we can do that so uh, i have written a simple python script and i will show you what that script does so uh, you will have to like uh, go and install a few libraries if you want to use uh, the pylatex and uh, installation instructions uh, should be somewhere here but uh, you can install there is a, a python library called pylatex so all you have to do is install that so you can simply do like a pip install pylatex and you should be good to go in fact in my case it's already um, installed so uh, so i don't have to install that but uh, you, sh you know, if you want to run these scripts you will have to install this library and once you have it your your script is good to go so I will go through this script and show you what exactly is it doing. So, uh, so you'll see that I imported a couple of uh, uh, libraries. Some of them uh, are mainly the pylatex, right? So from the pylatex, uh, I have kept many commands which I didn't use for this particular script. But uh, this can come handy in uh, many other scripts. So I haven't removed it, like the text color and hyperref and large text and small text if you are familiar with the latex you would, you would know uh, the meaning of most of these commands okay uh, so uh, so we'll go through it uh, so first I define like uh, where is my uh, uh, information directory this is my information directory which I defined the info directory and then all my uh, info files I imported using the globe uh, command globe command will give us the list of all the files in this directory so we have a list of all these files and then I defined the lo location for the maps here uh, this location uh, in, in this variable I store uh, these uh, information in this variable okay and then for my making my document uh, uh, please note here that uh, I am using the the, the the latex scripts and trying to hack it to work it for uh, mainly for the beamer slides case so uh, it may not look as elegant but it does its job so okay so here uh, i defined a few geometry options like t margin and l margin and uh, like general margin in fact if you put this general margin you don't have to do this top margin and left margin option okay uh, i use the document class beamer because uh, under the hood in fact it is writing a text uh, text uh, uh, script so uh, so when we call let a document class beamer so it will create a text script with the document class of beamer uh, so we did it here and then we also need to import a package hyperref if we want to do some uh, add some hyper reference in our document uh, and then uh, first thing we do is we define our title page so first we create a section and we call that section title page and inside that section we keep appending what we want in that uh, uh, that uh, section and we first call the uh, command which we have imported and that command will uh, call the title and it will uh, then we define what's our title name and then we call the command uh, for uh, author and we define which what's the name of the author and then we call the command for the uh, date and again we define uh, what's today's date and it will automatically uh, like when you are running uh, the script or when you're compiling the text uh, it will uh, get the date of that uh, uh, that day in your uh, document and finally if uh, if we want to compile all of them together we need to run this make title if you're familiar with the uh, latex uh, if you have written latex document before you will know that what this make title uh, command does so if we run all this then uh, we should be able to uh, get the title page so let me just uh, uh, comment all other parts and that's quite let's try running this thing all we have to do is python py latex and run it and fingers crossed it should be able to get us the pdf file and uh, uh, we got the pdf file so let's 
check it quickly uh, what's the pdf file look like and here is our pdf file just one page because we have added only one page right so that's the title and author name and the date which is today's date here okay cool so uh i will open this using uh, uh the preview uh, uh software in in my mac and why i do it using preview because preview will automatically update the document uh, if we make any changes so I'll, uh, move it to the another desktop so here we have it let's uh, make it larger let's also uh, unhide the sidebar uh, thumbnails let's see the thumbnails okay so we have it here okay so let's add more pages to it uh, and uh, uh, so all I'm doing is I'm iterating through all the uh, the images and uh, uh, and then I'm getting the number of, because if you see the name of the images uh, that's how it's been defined uh, the last uh, part is the uh, number of stations for that particular map so I'm like extracting that information out of this image which is a typical Python script. So that's one of the benefit of using PyLatex because you can run it along with your Python script. And uh, also we need to like sort it in a way because we want this, uh, the map to match with the info, um, e even though we iterate through all of them. So we sort it. And uh, so finally uh, we get the index of all the sorted uh, images and we run through all these index uh, and we uh, we iterate through all these indexes which we sorted and uh, th this indexes uh, uh, is for uh, okay th this this is uh, the no name of the station and uh, the the name of the stations uh, we run through all of them we we add the number name of the station here and then we uh, are sorted so here we get the indexes uh, in a uh, in a sorted fashion and then we reverse the index so that we get it in the descending order so the number of so the first index would be the image the map where the uh, number of stations is highest so we get it in the descending fashion and now we uh, iterate through all the uh, indexes uh, from the uh, in the descending order and for each index we look into this info file and find that uh, uh, that index and note that this this uh, info file we have uh, imported over here uh, I mean we have uh, gathered using the globe command so we have the list of all the stations so we iterate through this one and then we read all these files and these files in fact have the station name and then uh, in event name and uh, information and uh, then the station name and information so uh, we first read only one line of that file and that gives us the event name uh, uh, we extract the event name from it uh, in two formats and then uh, we read uh, the list of uh, the image the events which uh, which has the same name as this one like in case uh, if we have uh, this is the event name so we look for uh, the image file with this event name inside the image directory and uh, one if we get an image which means when the length of this uh, list is not zero which is greater than zero then uh, we read that file the first one and uh, we add that file into our slides uh, okay so we create a section uh, and we call it slide and we first create a, a list of things in that slide so that we call it by, by using itemize and for, in itemize we add uh, several stuff so we add the information about the event name depth magnitude uh, okay and uh, uh, in subsection of that uh, section 
um, in second subsection um, we add the figure and in the figure we just add this map in that figure and we set the width of that map to be 230 pixels and we uh, further we also add some caps and for that figure and that's it and we add that uh, 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 and after each slide we add a new page so that uh, uh, we don't repeat the same event in the same slides so we are always like uh, delimit it with a new page thing okay and finally uh, to generate a PDF we call we name the output as event based analysis so that's so we should get uh, uh, like if we do LS here you see that we get uh, the text document also called event based analysis and a PDF document also called event based analysis here uh, uh, clean text what it does is it will clean it will create a bunch of files during the run and uh, when we do uh, when we make it uh, true then it should uh, clean some of uh, it will also clean the text file so let's let's run it uh, and I guess it, it read through all the images and it should be able to create our uh, PDF and here is our document and you can see that we have the information we have the, uh, the first uh, list and the image and then we have the caption and we have it for all of them in a descending order of the number of stations so okay uh, some of the things uh, I mean in some places the number of stations are not read properly probably that is somewhere I'm doing mistake in the Python script uh, but you you get the whole idea I mean uh, how you can like manipulate these things okay so if you now look into this files we don't get the text file right because we we make the clean text equal to true but if sometimes if you want to modify it manually the text document or you want to share it with someone else uh, then you can make the text clean text equal to false and then you should be able to uh, get the text file as well and uh, let's run it let's have a look and there we go we have the text document uh, as well and if we look into the text document let's have a quick look let me just uh, see the text document it is uh, it does look like a typical uh, latex file right so this can be quite useful for writing a large latex files or beamer slides okay so that's all from me for today thank you so much for watching